Good morning! Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, I'm Stacy. I'm a stay-at-home mom to three kids and doing homeschool this year over the first six months. Uh, welcome back and thanks for coming by and watching. Uh, this morning I am I need to do a couple things. I have to get some laundry in and I need to feed our bearded dragon and our French Mastiff. And then I need to shoot over to Target. I gotta pick up some school supplies and then figure out where I'm gonna be setting up my kids schooling this year. I'm, I'm gonna be homeschooling for the first six months. My son has asthma and so his doctor recommended us uh, homeschooling for the six, first six months and seeing how everything goes with the school. So I have to figure out where I'm gonna put them. I, I think I'm gonna do the dining room table just because I have a one year old and I need to be able to see her as well and help them. I have a second grader and a kindergarten. So I'm gonna go get some supplies and then I need to drive by one of their schools to pick up a bag full of um, goodies. Uh, the kindergarten teacher, she asked us to come by and pick up some stuff that she put together. And then I need to do some more laundry and clean up around the house, but I will let you know what we pick up from Target. All right, see you later. Um, I had my Amazon order dropped off with some school supplies. And it is pouring here. So sorry for the way I look. It was like raining out. Pouring, pouring, pouring. Anyways, let me flip you around and I will show you what I picked up. All right guys, so my Amazon order came in. I got 12 rolls of uh, bounty paper towels. I'm actually still waiting on toilet paper. It hasn't come yet. It should come like any day now. I'm not sure why it's taking so long. I got, let me see, four, eight, 12 composition books. I wasn't planning on getting this many, but I'll just have to make my kids write more. <laughs> and then I got a whole bunch of folders. I'll show you the other kind as well. This is like that swishy material. They both needed color folders, and I thought maybe I would save these. Um, they're only going to be homeschooled for six months, and then we'll send them back to school. Like I said, my son has asthma, so we're just trying to see what happens, and then we'll play it by year. So we got on this as well. My son also needed a one inch binder. They didn't say a specific color, so we just got them black. Um, they won't get messy and they can't write on it. And then my son also needed Expo markers. We got the big kind and the skinny kind. They both needed uh, pencil, pencil pouches and they both needed pencil boxes. We got two and two. I got a whole box of pencils, like a ton. So he can't run out. I'll probably save these and stash these away in case when they go back, I can send them in with a bunch of uh, pencils. These are the other box of um, folders that I got. I literally got a whole bunch. They're that paper material, so they don't last that long. So I might have them then use these now and then maybe save the, the nicer ones for when they go back into school. I picked this up at Target. Um, my daughter is starting to learn sight words, so I need, um, she needs to learn them better. So I, I wrote them all in here and then hopefully we'll use that to save them and they won't get la like lost. I also got six boxes of crayons. We have four right here and I'll show you what I did with the other two. We got 30 um, Elmer's glue, a lot. So like I said, if they go back, we can bring a whole bunch in. I got a whole bunch of um, scissors. I'm gonna save these as well and Put them away so my kids can't get a hold of them. I actually got seven boxes of markers. Um, there's five here and then the other two I put them in this little container and I'll go over that in just a minute. My kids, I don't know if it's just my kids, but they take off the tops and they forget to put it back on and they dry out. So I just got a whole bunch and hopefully it won't happen. So my son, I ordered this last year for my son. When he was in school, he had to do computer classes and he needed headphones. And they worked really well, but this year, they're not asking for headphones. And I'm not sure if they're not doing computer classes anymore or if they stopped that. I went ahead and bought my daughter one anyways because when we're homeschooling, my one-year-old screams all the time and I thought it'd be good if they each had their own. And they're actually really good material. And so, they 
these lasted really good they're in really good shape my son still used them so i got her one as well and they're really really soft so hopefully these work i went ahead and bought these each for my kids they have a problem fighting over stuff so we put one box of the markers in each one thing a box of the crayons um, scissors, glue, pencils, and they each have their own. So they can't fight and it just works out better. I got them each one of these. Both of my kids can write pretty well, even being in kindergarten. Um, but you put your fingers right in these and then you put the pencil in here and you just write and it helps you control better. So hopefully they, they, might, they might use those. I picked this up at Target for my daughter that's starting kindergarten. It has all the letters, colors, shapes, um, the ruler, just to help her out a little bit. And I'll put this right by her computer so she can look down at it. I got a 12, 12 erasers in here. And we won't end up using all these, so if they go back to school, I'll just send them in with her, their teacher. I got index cards at Target. Practice more sight words as well. And this is a little Target haul I picked up. If you guys haven't tried this before, this glass cleaner, it is amazing. It was like, I think it was $1.29 and it works so well. It's like my favorite glass cleaner. <laughs> I got one thing, a Lysol spray. I was trying to pick up more, but they said one per person. And my Target, so they opened boxes and then put them out at 8, eight like 8, I think it was 8 this morning. And he said he put out three boxes. And when I went there at 10 o'clock, there was only 10 left. And I wanted to get more. They run out so fast, but one per person, so that's fair. <laughs> um, I was trying to look up for some all-purpose all cleaner, and this is the only thing they had. So I just went ahead and picked up this in case my Lysol wipes run out, because my target's short on that as well. And I was only able to find one dish soap. And so I went ahead and picked this up just in case. A little backup and some shipping tape. I needed this as well, shipping some packages out. But that was it for today. I hope you all enjoy. I'm gonna try and set up their their schooling over at a um, the dining room table. So I'll go ahead and show that and maybe you guys can give me some ideas on how to set it up. But that was it. See all you right, later. So this is what I put together so far. I do have a spare bedroom that I have guests come and stay in there but I really don't want to change around the whole entire room just for six months of learning I mean if I end up going full-time home homeschooling then I'll probably end up doing something like that but so far I'm not sure if I like it yet but this is what I've done so far I have my son set up right here he has I actually got this mouse on Amazon their school only sends a computer and when you have kids for the first time using computers it's kind of hard for them to drag their fingers and so I went ahead and bought him a mouse. I have hers coming in the mail, but the, he has his workbooks right here, his composition, and then a drawing um, pad. I put this here um, just in case he has to write something down really quickly or if, you know, his teacher jots something and he has to do it. I don't think, I think all of his art's actually gonna be on computer, so he might not even need this. I have his little, he has this from last year, so he went ahead and just put this here to use. His own little section right here. I have some old paint. Um, they still have a little bit left in case they need it. An old box of crayons that they destroyed the boxes to. I just threw them in there just in case. My daughter is set up right here. She has her workbooks, a journal, a composition, and also her headphones and her sight words and then her little area as well. And then for me, I actually, I put this here. I need to go through it. It is a bunch of old crayons, markers. I need to just see what works, what's broken. And then this actually right here, I'm actually in the middle of drawing. And so I put that there. I have my little organizer, some papers I need to go through. And then I put this here. I actually, I'm not sure if I got this at Target or Amazon, but I got them each one in case they're bored or they want something to do. It's just uh, reading activities, adding, subtracting, time, money, fraction. So. It's good to have that. This right here is my easel. Um, I bought this, of course, one of my kids wrote on it with permanent marker. And so now I can't get that off. I might just end up buying a new one, but I'm gonna put that right up on here so they can see everything. I also put their computers facing the wall. Um, 
The reason why I did that is that when they're in their Google classrooms and there's other kids, they don't get distracted with things going on behind them. So I thought maybe that was a good idea. And then over here, I kind of just put some books together. My one-year-old can grab something. My other kids can grab something while they're sitting here as well. I put the extra folders and Bob books. Um, these are actually really cool. Uh, they're actually little animal tracks. This one is about animals. This one's about butterflies. I bought one for spiders, snakes, and so on. And then I have all of my extra little like markers and everything else that I showed you I put right up here. So that, that is it for this. It's not like spectacular. I'm gonna work on it and maybe see if I can do a little something a little better. But that was it. I'll see you guys later. Jump in here really quick. I just bought this from my local market down the street and I was explaining to him how my husband and my son have really bad allergies. And so I bought the wildflower honey and he told me to try having them take a teaspoon to a tablespoon of honey each night and it should help with their allergies and for them to sleep better so that they're not stuffed up at night. If you've tried that or heard that, let me know down in the comments, please. I'm curious to know. Guys, it's been raining since one o'clock this afternoon and it is 7 p.m. now and it's still raining. There's my French Mastiff, Letty. Huh, can you sit? Can you sit? Hey, sit. Oh, you're <laughs> Say hi. I have all my vegetables growing. I have, um, that's a tomato plant, tomato plant, tomato plant, uh, jalapenos, carrots, cilantro and then more cilantro as well i make i love to make a cilantro avocado chicken it is really 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 good i'll have to show you guys one day it is delicious if you like avocados but i'm munching on this right now on my back porch i wanted to show you what they look like i get it from trader joe's if you like cornbread see this is what they kind of look like if you like cornbread you'll probably like this. It's like a good snack for just something like salty to eat really quick. Um, yeah, they're really, really good. You should try them. Um, let me look at the back for the, the back. They're, they can't be healthy for you, but they're really, really good. <laughs> try them out. Let me know. Hey guys. All right. I'm going to end my vlog here. It is uh, around 7:40, and we just got home from soccer, pouring rain, lightning delays, so they're soaking wet. One of them's still in the bath, one of them's right here, the other one is sleeping. Uh, we're gonna read some books. My second grader's gonna read to me. I need to clean up a big mess, and we shall see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye. Bye.